Hello friends. This is one of those days where I just cannot believe my luck. Cannot believe it. I've just been to Newport and I've picked up something incredibly special. He's called Gary and in this video we're going to meet him. Let's take a look. <laughs> So I got up this morning, I think about uh, 10.30 or so, and uh, I was due to go over to see my mum. But uh, before I left, I checked my phone and there was a message from my best friend Richard. And uh, he sent me a note on Messenger and he said, uh, Ear pet, do you, do you still want one of these? Um, I, would, I was gonna, gonna go and get it, but I can't cross the bridge because obviously he's in England. I'm in Wales. Uh, and he said I would I would go and go and get it, but I don't want to risk crossing the bridge <clears throat> and uh, getting a fine for breaking COVID rules. Because what Richard had sent me was a Facebook Marketplace advert for a free Hoover, um, and it, it it was a picture of this cleaner, uh, and it said free on it. Don't want this anymore. Um, free to whoever comes and picked it up and I just I couldn't believe what I was seeing I, c I just couldn't it, it really was it's one of those moments where you freeze in your track uh, tracks I was walking a lot I was walking looking at the phone and I was like that can't be that cannot be but it was so I messaged the seller of it uh, I said um, can I come and pick it up she said yeah sure I'll leave it out by the front gate so I was thinking, oh God, if you're going to leave that out there, somebody might take it. If somebody's walking past, I think, oh, Uber, take it away. But um, I thought, okay, I'll risk it. Uh, the M4 was closed as well, which didn't help. So it took me 45 minutes to drive from here to Newport to this house to pick it up. And all the way, I was like, I was so tense. I was I just unbelievably tense driving along thinking, oh, it's got to be there. It's got to be there. It's got to be there. So I pulled up out, outside the house and um, like leapt out the car, leapt out. Said, I've got to get there, I've got to get there. Walked around the front of the car um, and there was the machine. It was there. I was like, oh my God, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's brilliant. So I was there, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, and I picked it up and I, and I was looking at it uh, and the guy who owned the house, who they, maybe they found it in the house or something, because um, it had all like scaffolding over it. So they're obviously work, working on the house. And this guy sort of looked around the corner and said, all right, mate, and, that, and I went, yes, thank you, yes. <laughs> and I said to him, you've made my year. You've made my year for this. Uh, and he, went, he was like, oh, really, what? I said, I, can, I collect vacuum cleaners so this time. <laughs> I, I haven't had one of these cleaners for 25 years. It, the last time I owned one of these was 1996. And I haven't seen one in person since then, so it's a long, long time. Um, and he said, oh, 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 good, okay, so is it rare then? I went, yes, very rare, snatch, run, slam, vroom, it's just uh, gone. It's like, yeah, okay, let's not talk about this anymore. Let's <laughs> just get the hell back home and have a look at what what we've got. So I'm back home now. I had to go and see my mum uh, because uh, she made me lunch and I had to do some jobs for her. But now I'm back and I've got Gary <laughs> and I'm going to show him to you. So first of all, just to say what I got with him, I got the hose uh, one rod and three small tools. Now, I don't know if you can guess what the what Gary is from this hose. So if I show you that, there you go. There's the uh, machine end of the hose. Uh, and that is very much Hoover Compact. So Gary's a Hoover. That is, yeah, that is almost exactly a compact end. And this bent end here is, um, like from the late compacts, uh, Hoover Vogue, they all had this this same bent end. It's a very early to mid 
90s style to it. Um, so that's cool. Now, obviously, I haven't got the floor tool with Gary, but it's all right because I do have in the collection a very late Hoover Compact 1200 from, I think, 1995. And that compact has exactly the same toolkit that Gary would have had, so the same hose as well. Actually, the compact's uh, machine end might have been slightly angled, but it doesn't matter because I've got Gary's hose anyway, so I can just use the, the small tools the rods and the compact's floor tool because it's the it's the Hoover contour style of floor tool but push fit rather than pit fit so that's great and they're black as well so they match now it's important to say that I haven't done anything to Gary yet I haven't even plugged him in and I'm not going to plug him in yet so you won't see him running or not running whatever the case may be in this video I'm just showing you Gary in this video so you won't see him running yet um, I'll open him up and you'll see why so ready let me introduce you to one of the rarest Hoover cylinder vacuum cleaners ever made 26 years since I last owned one Gary the Galaxy. He's a 1000S, the original Galaxy series. Um, let me see what his model number is, S3854. And there he is, look at him. It's a Galaxy. It's a, a free Hoover Galaxy. Beyond words, really. He's not in super condition. This plastic is quite scratchy, if you like. Um, they, they always tended to scratch, but what few galaxies I've seen, they they had like this, they, they always had scratch marks on them, um, because where they used to bang into furniture and tables and such like, um, they used to get really scratched up. There is like a furniture guard, but it's only on this bit here, so it's only, only protects up at this point and this also acts as a seal for the visor um, now we do have a slight problem with this caster here I don't know if you can see that but the, the caster is missing one of its one of its small wheels but again it's a free Galaxy 1000s I ain't gonna moan about any of this this is unbelievable even if he needs a new motor fine I'm sure I've got a compact somewhere that can donor its motor to Gary. So just to read you the serial number, this is this is quite interesting. Um, so as I say, model 3854, the serial number is 01200777, made in France. So these cleaners were made in the Dijon factory in France. Uh, and they were they were more for the Euro market. Um, we obviously did get them over here, but we didn't get them in, in, in huge numbers. I can't stop touching them. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Just love you. Um, so yeah, uh, they are not common in the UK. They were never, they, they were never common. I don't really know why. I mean, they're quite cool. They're quite funky cleaners. You know, if you think, you know, this is like early early 90s this is this is this is, this is cool this is, this is really awesome so i've got the hoover hoover service product data manual here this is the 1991 book and this is the first book that galaxy appears in now they don't actually say a great deal about it in the book but i'll read you what they what they said so S3850 and S3854, the above cleaners are the new Galaxy suction cleaner, cleaners manufactured in our plant in Dijon, France. Model S3850 is styled in stellar grey and stellar pink. Our model S3854 is styled in stellar green. And really, that's it. There's just like fitting notes then. Uh, there's instructions for the motor removal, which I will need because it has been... 25 years since I've worked on one of these. Um, then there's cord reel replacement. 
um, and then t technical data. So that's quite interesting actually. The, the uh, difference between S3850 and S3854, Gary, is interesting because 3850, the pink one, had a single stage 850 watt motor, whereas the, the, the 3854 has a 1000 watt twin stage motor. Um, so, and there's a kilogram, uh, a kilogram, I don't know, I'm saying that weird, there's a kilogram difference in weight. The pink one is 4.4 and Gary is 5.4. Everything else is pretty much the same. So the width, the height, the cord length, um, and the capacity of the bag is all the same. And then you just have like some pictures. Um, so you've got like a wiring diagram there. Um, and then you have like uh, exploded diagrams as well. So it, this is really useful. It shows you how to take the machine apart. I kind of remember how to do it, but it's all not really. Now, interestingly, this book and all the pages are dated 1990. So the book was printed in 90 and then released in 91. Bearing in mind that Gary was manufactured in December 1990, which makes him quite an early cleaner. They show this funny floor tool. I don't know if you can see that. If I hold it up to the camera, you see the floor tool there. That really odd floor tool. Now, I don't think I've ever actually seen one of those because if you look on the front of the book, there's the pink galaxy there. And that's the, that's the push fit contour style tool that I was talking about. So that is what I remember galaxy coming with. And indeed, there's a, there's a picture on the back of uh, a packet of genuine Hoover galaxy bags. And those machines also have the push fit contour style heads. So that head, I don't know, it's weird. Um, never seen one. Maybe that was for the Euro market, possibly. Um, and then there's not really that much more to talk about. It's only a few pages on Galaxy, which is a, a real shame. Then it goes into turbo power. But it's quite interesting to see it. Um, and uh, as I say, you know, I've, I've, I've owned this book for a long, long time. So it's nice to uh, to actually be able to show you the book, the Galaxy write-up, and Galaxy itself. Let's just have a quick look inside. Now, I've got a horrible feeling that Gary's been used as like a builder's vac. So this is what always happens to these old cleaners. Somebody thinks, oh, it's not worth anything. It's just, you know, it's a piece of rubbish. Let's just give it a really hard time and a really hard life. And I think that's what's happened here, to be honest with you. So if we just pull the visor off, it just kind of comes up. It's not easy to do it from this angle. Oh, God, snap. See, then you, you take off the, the visor. You can see, see it's like, it's, it's sort of opaque. So it's not actually black, it's kind of see-through. If you, if you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through it, which is quite cool. But Gary is full of dust. Um, his filter is absolutely covered in it, look. So I really don't want to turn him on yet. Um, he needs a really good service. He's going to need to be completely stripped down and completely cleaned. The motor that's used in these is, I think from memory, the same as uh, the Sensitronic, the twin stage 1000 watt Sensortronic motor. Also found it in the compacts, but only some compacts. They, they Hoover, Hoover had this habit of like switching motors around. Some, some of them had really small motors, uh, some of them had larger motors, some of them had single stage large fans, some of them had dual stage small fans, some of them had dual stage big fans. It was all over the shop. So you've got to like find the right motor for it if you see, see what I mean. Um, I know which one is in this because I, I've had a 1000S, as I say, 25 years back. Um, so this is like the Sensitronic style. And it's actually here, it's this it's this pillar here. This this is the motor and that's how they made it. So you've got the motor here with the airflow at the top. So it comes in here through the bag and then in the top, down through the motor and then exhausted out onto the back here. Just thought, are all these? 
Oh yeah, we've got a few broken slats here. I just thought that. That's all right. They are, they're broken, but they are there. So that's cool. That means I can fix them. Then you have the cord reel here, this molding. Now the pink one didn't have a flex wind. Uh, only the 1000S had the flex wind and it's activated by this pedal here on the back. It's quite, it's quite clever actually. That's quite a convenient place to put your foot. And then you've got the power switch on the top and a piston style bag full indicator. The reason I'm worried about this motor is because they don't really stand up to a lot of abuse. Uh, they have the, the brass sleeve bearing as the top bearing. Bottom bearing is a nice big ball race. The top bearing, that's the one that goes. And you'll find if you abuse any, any Hoover cleaner with that particular motor in it, you will more than likely find that it's actually not going to be any good. But we don't know yet, you know, there is hope. Um, it might be okay. It might be savable. It's certainly going to need an extremely good service. It is absolutely filthy in here. What is great is that I have um, a couple of Galaxy paper bags. I have a Galaxy filter. Again, I've had those probably 20 years now. And I've just been waiting for a machine that I can put them in. Um, and I finally have it because I've got Gary and it's awesome. So let's just pop his visor back on, like so. And there we go. What a day. What a day. What a find. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. A free Hoover Galaxy 1000S. And not only that, an early one. What more could you want? Now, just going slightly off topic a second, um, I can't remember how many different Galaxy models we got in the UK. I have a feeling it was three. Um, I would like to ask you guys, because, you know, you guys know your stuff. So I know there was obviously this uh, the three, what was it, three eight? Yeah, 3854 was the 1000S. The 3850 was the 850, that was the pink one. And I have a feeling, oh, this is green, by the way. I don't know if that shows up particularly well on the camera, but this is green. But there was another one. There was a Galaxy Electronic. I'm sure there was a Galaxy Electronic. And I, I just have this funny feeling that that's the one I had back in 96. And that machine was blue. It had a blue um, body on it. I might check the... I might check these a second. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to cut here. Right, I've got the 92 and 93 service manuals. So let's have a quick look. Maybe have a quick look in the index. I've just, I've just got this feeling that, that we had a third one. There was another one I've seen um, that I saw in France in, I think it was 1994, but that was not actually um, listed as a Galaxy. That was, uh, it was labelled as a Hoover Con Constellation, if memory serves, and it was yellow, which is very, very strange. I'm just going to have a quick flick through. There must be an index here somewhere. There's loads of service updates. Uh, hose assembly chart. Update my product type. Should have just the podcast. Oh, Galaxy. Page number seventy-seven. Oh, I think this this is this book has the first listing of Vogue. Um, let's go to seventy-seven. Uh, the above two models from the new Galaxy suction cleaner range are manufactured at a plant in Dijon. 3850, oh, that's interesting. 3850 has now gone up to 900 watts. It was originally 850. And 3854, um, oh, there we go. There we go. Model 3854, 1000 watts, styled in stellar blue. So the 92 book says 
five four is Stella Blue, but the ninety one book says three eight five four is styled in Stella Green. Ah, now this is definitely definitely green. Um, and if this was manufactured in December ninety, then that matches with this book. So any machines that are manufactured in ninety one. Yeah, we're probably a different one. So that ma that makes Gary even rarer. So Gary's an early one. That's that's amazing. I just want to see if there's any electronics because look at the wiring diagram. There's no. I just have this feeling there was an electronic galaxy. Why do I think that? Again, it's just not. Yeah. There's not much information in here. Then it, it goes into Vogue. That's right. Let's have a look at the 93 book. Um, it's kind of like solving another mystery, isn't it? It's like that turbo power that I showed you. Let's have a look. Um, suction vacuum cleaners, update information. Um, what have we got? Divergent parts, Curry's exclusive parts list, wiring diagram, spirit. Oh, hang on, this is compact. Spirit compact three wire hose compact spirit co op compact electricity board exclusive sensortronic. Mm, no, that product vacuum cleaners automatic washing machines. That's annoying, isn't it? There's no proper index S3716 Curry's Curry's sensortronic. Oh, yeah, that would be nice to find. Service update for floor care. Uh, compact. Let me have a quick flick through. It's not entirely easy to find. Oh, here we, here we go. Here's Galaxy. Um, no, this is exactly the same as the 1992 book. S3850 and S3854. The above two models form the new Galaxy suction cleaner range in manufacturing of Pat in Dijon. Um, and again, it says 3850 is stellar grey and stellar pink, and 3854, 1000 watt, is styled in stellar blue. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think that's probably my memory playing tricks on me, that I saw an electronic galaxy. Maybe that was one that I saw in Europe, possibly. But we know that there were three of them. The, the, the pink one, the green one, and the blue one. So that's good. At least we know now. I, honestly, I never realised that. I never realised that the green one was the early one and the blue one was, was the late one. Um, yeah, so there we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that ramble. <laughs> that was a real ramble. Um, but at least we've had a chance to look at some books. And um, yeah, we've got Gary here now, which is just absolutely wonderful. Just so over the moon frankly, just over the moon. Uh, massive thanks to Richard for looking on Facebook and finding him. Uh, it just, I, I never thought I'd be sat here on Sunday afternoon showing you one of these. I just I never thought, I, I, I honestly thought that the next time that I had one of these would be when I was really rich and I could afford one that came up on eBay. So yeah, this is just, absolutely wonderful uh so thank you guys for watching um the next video will probably be taking gary apart we'll have a look inside we'll see what his motor's like we'll give him a good service and a clean and um, hopefully then we will be able to take him for a spin on the carpet um don't forget to do the usual commenting subscribing and liking I always love hearing from you guys and uh until next time me and gary we'll see you soon take care bye Bye. I love you.